I'm doing good, and uh, yeah, I'll definitely be back. You'll be definitely be hearing Arthur Ray's name. The spirit this young man has is unbelievable. There was no doubt in his mind that he was going to beat cancer. Now, how do I get on the football field? I've been there when the lights go off. And those doctors tell you, you got to wait this long in the hospital. I can still compete. I have faith. I feel like I can play ball again. It's just the beginning. Like I said, you know, everybody else's expectations for Arthur Ray has never been mine, you know. And me just stepping back on that field, you know, proving everybody wrong that a lot of people didn't think I'd get to this point. I'm ready to keep going. You come out and you watch Arthur Ray and he's doing all the drills, you know, in his shorts. He's on medical and he's doing the drills in his shorts. And uh, he's off there by himself, just training by himself. Uh, and you have to give him a tremendous amount of credit. He's running, he's, uh, he's got full action with his legs right now and that's something you know a year and a half ago I didn't know if that would ever be possible again you know on crutches for two, two years plus so uh, all you have to do if you feel a little bit sorry for yourself all you got to do is look over there at Arthur Ray and see what he's had to go through and the challenges he's, that he's overcome uh, to make you feel uh, a little bit better about your situation and make you understand how special that is. You have to see the invisible to accomplish the impossible. And during the national anthem, those eyes revealed what it all meant. I just thought of everything. I looked at the crowd. And I'm finally here. I'm finally here. When I put my hand in the dirt, I looked at the guy across from me. And I was like, yeah, this is where I belong. That first game, a lot of people didn't think I'd make it. Everybody's quiet now. A former player from Michigan State, Arthur had his career there cut short by cancer. Now recovered and as a Skyhawk, he gets a second chance at his dream of playing college football. I had a lot of good days, a lot of bad days at MSU, a lot of dark days, a lot of days where, you know, you, you never know what's going to happen. You know, a lot of people telling me, you know, that I should quit football and, and go go do something in the real world and this and that. You know, I always had a dream and I always had a goal and to watch it come true, is, I was ecstatic. As a kid, like a lot of us, I was taught if you work hard, good things will happen. And if you stay patient, great things will come. But see, the part that they don't tell you is how to respond when bad things happen in your life, how to get through them. This is what I like to call the test. I remember this firsthand, my first night of chemotherapy. My parents were my last visitors to leave, and I just remember crying, praying, and wondering, wondering where my life will go. Doctors told me I may never walk again. At that moment, I made a decision. I had a vision. I had a vision that I would do everything in my power to ensure that my dream stayed alive. Regardless of what people thought, regardless of who had my back. You know, it's funny, they say, the road less travel leads to new beginnings. I won't quit. Why listen to people? Why feed into the negativity? Six years later, I stand strong. And now I'm doing what I love to do. And it all started one day when I had a vision and I believed it. And now I'm living it. See, I'm here to tell you, the first step to success is vision. You must see that person you want to become. You must see that success you want to have in the future. And then you must believe it. Believe it with every fathom in your soul. Believe it. That's the first step to manifest your reality. See the invisible. I know it's tough. I know it's hard. I know they don't believe in you. I know you don't know how you're going to do it. But I'm telling you right now, none of that matters. If you stay true to yourself and you believe in your vision, 
Greatness is within you. It's within all of us. Make history. I'm about to make history. They ain't seen nothing like Arthur Ray. <laughs>